There's a new face at the Charles Paddock Zoo. Community reporter Lindsay Hyatt has more on what a new director will do for the Atascadero attraction. Only a few weeks into this new role, I paid Dr. Cynthia Stringfield a visit and asked what her goals are for this new role and whether there are any changes people can expect when visiting the zoo. The Charles Paddock Zoo is home to hundreds of animals. I like the titles because because I their pies. And now a new zoo director too. Dr. Cynthia Stringfield previously served as senior VP of Animal Health Conservation and Education at Zoo Tampa before taking the zoo director role in Atascadero. I'm a native Californian. I was in Tampa and Florida for five years in a fabulous zoo, fabulous position there, but really my, my heart is in California and so I was very excited to come back and be a part of a, an incredible zoo. She said the Charles Paddock Zoo's community support drew her in. There's some incredible bones here. This community loves the zoo so much. Atascadero resident Mindy Garino says the zoo is a regular part of her family's routine. I come a couple times a month but my husband and my daughter come almost every day. The zoo is just a short ride from their home. I love that it's close to my house. You know, my daughter's autistic, and so she rides in the golf cart with my husband here. With the new zoo director coming on board, community members like Garino will be able to see some changes around the zoo, like updated graphics for the zoo animals, a new toucan enclosure, and more staff up front to answer community questions. People coming to the zoo, really keep your eyes out because the next time you come, it's going to look different and it's going to look different and it's going to look different. In Atascadero, Lindsay Hyatt, KSBY News.